good afternoon. Here's your Tuesday, July 24th forecast. And now for our weather headlines for today. We are currently on a temperature trampoline. The temperatures are going up and they're coming down. They're going up and they're coming back down. But when I say they're coming back down, they're not going to like frigid temperatures. They're going back down to normal, for which this time of year it's low 80s, so it's still very, very nice outside. But when it goes up, it goes to around the low, the lower 90s. So we're kind of fluctuating during in, in the 80 range right about now. So, and then our next chance for rain will be sometime next week. The current radars are showing sometime about Wednesday night or so we'll be seeing some rain coming into the area from those warmer temperatures that we're currently experiencing in the area. And then the rain will definitely cool us back down to average temperatures. We will be staying down on that temperature trampoline. So it'll definitely become a lot cooler with those rains, bringing moisture into the area, cooling us back down into those lower 80s, as I mentioned just a little bit ago. But for right now, our temperatures across the state, here in State College, we are feeling 90 degrees. The average for today is around 82 degrees, so we're definitely feeling a lot warmer, and it is somewhat humid outside. But across the Commonwealth, we have about, we have lower 70s over here in Pittsburgh, but then all the way on the other side of the Commonwealth in Philadelphia, we are actually experiencing a air temperature of 95 degrees. That is about 10 degrees above average for what they're used to seeing during this time of year. But the visible shadow light shows nothing, just a few scattered clouds across the area right about now with the most clouds over here in Pittsburgh and Johnstown where it's much cooler than across the rest of the state. So we're gonna be feeling those temperatures if those clouds move into central PA sometime later on today. But our radar forecast shows that those clouds over there in western PA are definitely carrying these thunder showers, some severe across the southwestern part of the state, Pittsburgh and Johnstown. You've definitely been experiencing some of those rain showers. And also here in eastern PA and with the intersection with Maryland and Delaware, we've been seeing some rain showers and thunder showers over there as well. But now for our eye on the sky forecast, taking a look into the future, we have clear skies throughout today and even into tomorrow but then as tomorrow progresses we'll have some clouds move into the area and into Thursday morning we will definitely be seeing those thunder showers I mentioned earlier here in Albany they show that some of those showers could even potentially become um, severe so definitely here we're going to want to watch out but even though the radar isn't saying that any of the storms here in PA will be reaching those severe levels. But now for this evening's forecast, we have a high of around 88 degrees. Here in State College, we've actually already surpassed that level. We are at 90 degrees right now, according to the National Weather Service. But we're going to be seeing somewhere around 88 degrees as an average throughout the center region for this evening. We'll have some isolated thunderstorms, and our winds will be coming from the northwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Those northwest winds will definitely be cooling us down just a little bit into tonight, where we'll be feeling a temperature of around 58 degrees with some clouds and possibility of those thunder showers um, not in our rate forecast for tonight. But then as we go into tomorrow, still no thunder showers in the forecast. We will have a high of around 83, which is much closer to average, much more comfortable. So it's going to be an amazing day out there, but winds coming from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And now for our five-day forecast. Thursday we have those chance for thunder showers as the temperatures go back up above average, but then cooling us back down on Friday to more average temperatures for the rest of the work week and into the weekend. And then as we have Sunday coming along, we will have sunshine continuing for Sunday and Monday for a great start to next week's work week and to the beginning of August, which will occur next week. From the Campus Weather Service here at Penn State, I'm Rochelle Peart. Have a fantastic day.